so sad if they're banned. No, they're not gonna get banned. Yeah, please. Che, please. you're not gonna get these cards banned. Please, Konami, don't. Don't touch these cards, please. They're balanced, okay? <laughs> they're fair. <laughs> What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and I'm actually really excited because uh, one of the channel fan favorites here, Chair, uh, took one of his signature decks um, and signature cards, I should say, to the Toronto Regional this weekend and he came ninth place, just out of top eight. First of all, I want to say congratulations. Thank you. It's, thank uh, you. it's good to see the come up. Yeah, you know yeah. those first place locals deck profiles didn't do I it. Know, now I we got Now we got a top events. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, congratulations, bro. Uh, I'm going to let you take over from here. Go ahead, show me what it is. Talk yeah. about it. What did you do? Yeah. Okay. So basically, uh, I'll just start with the list. The so, list. Okay. Yeah. Triple shifter. <laughs> this is standard uh, chair. Yeah. I mean, the best best hand trap in the whole format. Of right? course. Right. Joe is gone, and Gamma is dead. Like, there's nothing to stop this thing right anymore. Right. Like, yep. This is win button, right? I think against like one of the first round against like a dragon main player, uh, he just I lose the dice roll, right? And my hand was kind of trash, right? And then my hand was just like him, like some bricks, and then I had his, so I dropped this, and he just passed turn. So I went do my combo, and it's lost right there, right? So, so just before we continue, I do want to say you went seven two in nine rounds. Yes, yes. Okay, so what were your two losses? Uh, it was labyrinth and manadium. And, and you could have won, so I wasn't there at the event, yeah. but everyone was telling me that you could have won the whole thing, but you messed up. Yeah, I misplayed. Yeah, I got all played actually. It was like a really good player, Ryan Yu. Yeah. He was like a really skilled player. Yeah, so he did like, an, I'll explain later what he did, but yeah, so I'll tell you after the deck. All right, but 7-2, that's still pretty good. Nine rounds, 7-2. Yeah. Right, that's pretty good. It's okay, yeah. I was happy. Yeah, congrats again, bro. Anyways, so. So yeah, so, yeah. shifter, you know, shifter is shifter. I'm, I think it might get hit after this this format. Like, really? Okay. Yeah, I love the car, but like it's, it's too, too good. good. It's so good right now, right? And also, let's see. Okay, so it's Ash. So yeah, this is good hand trap, right? Every time I see it against a branded player, they just like choke, right? Like they can't play, right? Yeah. And then just, you know, GG. And then just good against like rogue decks in general. Yeah, the only thing I don't like is that you might play into like talents a lot, so it's a risk. But so I decided all sometime uh, game three when I know they might have talent, so just keeping the imperms and stuff. Like, okay. Yeah, no monster effect. Okay. Okay, I'm playing uh, one rice arm. So you're playing Kashtara. Okay, yeah. So so I'll show the do. Kashtara stuff because I know there's some spice in here. Yeah, and that's there, what I want to get to. There is a spice. Okay, so this is the new lineup. Uh, so the original lineup, I was playing one scare claw as well. But it never came up for me, right? I just, it was like every time I play, I never played it once. I always see it and just like side it out. I never like side it back in. It's like a dead card to me. So you just need three fingers, two unicorn, and a rice heart. That's mm -hmm. all you need. And then unicorn is one card combo. Basically, yeah, yeah. one card combo. I had two, so you can only play two. Finra is just like best card in the deck, and a rice heart just you need it for to make the rice heart. Of course, it's three man. Yeah, yeah. it's not like a. Uh, Actual Castillo list, but you'll see. Yeah, I know it's not an actual Castillo list. Uh, That's why I want to. I want to get into the good stuff. No, the good stuff right here. Okay. The good stuff's right here. He's main decking. This is the actual deck. Vanity fiend. Yes. And fossil dino. Exactly. There. Every time I see these two, I just win the game. Like right there, like instantly. Right. The moment I drop one of these, like the game one against Dragon Man guy, my hand was like super breaky. I didn't open any of the cash combos. I just had this, and then I had Draco back. And there's just like a combo I can do to protect my Dino from dying by battle once per turn. I just had that, and then he couldn't out it, he had the scoop. And <laughs> That's so crazy! Yeah, Vanity is just like a big Dino, like he doesn't need protection by itself. So you just drop him with any of the Kashtera, like a tribute, and then you're good to go, right? So every time like I see them, like, most time they win the game. Like I 2 the Vanquish player, just off of like Vanity Fiend alone. I got, I just go first and then I think I misplayed, he was playing Duel and uh, I don't know what I was thinking, I, he stared for me and I already had two fuel spell in my hand. Oh, okay. So I'm like, and then he drove me up and I'm like, oh, like what I do now, right? It's a big misplay, I didn't expect people to run Duel this format, so I'm like, okay, whatever. So I just dropped the uh, Unicorn and then Trivial Summon for Vanity Fiend and he had to scoop and it was just, that was just It doesn't even matter, I had my full combo right there. So <laughs> this is a full combo. Full this combo. is a full combo. This is a full combo, yeah. This is just like assistance, right? Oh, okay. They're not like the meat of the deck, right? That's crazy. And also every time, uh, sometime even when I go second, I keep this in. So after I 
clear their board. I dropped this, it just kills any hole for their follow ups. Mm -hmm. So it just like guarantee you take the win. Um, yeah, those are the VIPs. Uh, they're not really VIPs. Yeah, every deck, they say. Then you keep them there. Um, then the adventure package. Okay, so, yeah. so you played the adventure package. Why did you play this? Uh, so basically, they're there for the protection for fossil dynamic I mean, mostly. Okay. And also, they just good, you know, just good omni the game and give you a lot of options. So basically, the philosophy is that I only play two of these because. Mm -hmm. You might there's stupid people some on Joel, so you don't want hard lose to just searching, you know, off the random media and you couldn't play afterwards. Yeah. So I think just make it to two, and then Griffin you need to play because I'm in the game. Yep. Um, okay, and then two more new additions because I cut the Scareclaw and oh. the Burf. I added this two for the main deck. They were so good. It was in my side deck, but. Uh, what happens like against like one well, of the pearly players, right? He made Zeus and then he's just sitting on it and he used Zeus, I baited it and I just tribute use this tribute with the Zeus. Attack for 3k, mean phase 2 tribute for Vanity Fiend. Vanity Fiend, is, Vanity Fiend, what is going right on? There, right? It doesn't even matter, right? And I guess another branded player, I baited his Dragoon and then he's like, okay, whatever, right? And then I tribute it, uh, no, because uh, what happened is uh, I think he was afraid I was gonna make Baron with Finra and Ash, so he was trying to get Baron to uh, Dragoon to 4K to get over the Baron play, but I baited it and then required him, and then he just lose right there after that. Yeah, so it's really good. Like even nice. I, I didn't face any Kashtira players, and it was still so That's good. Still so good. Still so good. Nice. Yeah. It's kind of busted. So I'm playing the main right now. So it was in my side before. Okay. Okay, now on to the spell. So the best spell card in hand, of course. Prosperity. Just, you know, no, it's no explanation needed. Whatever you're missing, cash engine, fossil dynamic vanity, or the right uh, venture package, you just, just look just for it. it. You just get whatever you want, basically. It's the best card in the deck. And the planets, the best, you know, one card starter. So unicorns are two, so you have to play three of these. So you just want to see your combos, right? Of course. So no explanation needed. And the one CEO says, so I was playing at the birth as well, but it never came out for me because all my normal summon I reserved for Vanity Fiend and Fossil Dyna. So mm -hmm. it never came up. And I don't want to go extend with the special effect either because you can play two nips. So it was like, Super dead, so I never used it. So use this by itself. Just once use this is enough. Okay. Because you're not playing Cash Tira, you're just playing Cash Tira Adventure Fossil Dino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, yeah. And uh, three, you know, of course. Of, yeah, yeah, right yeah. immediate your best card. It's one of the best cards in the deck. Yeah. So you see, yeah, you basically see any of these three cards, you have like full combo right there. And terraforming just for consistency. Fate focus, you have to play it. Draco back. Okay, Draco back is very funny actually. Because every time, sometimes like, I side it out, I needed it. Because yeah. I need something like to search. I'm like, oh, wait, there was like one game. I could have bounced the guys. Like, what happens? Like, I was against like a dragon, uh, dragoning player. He had like a, one of those like 3K, the red eyes one that like someone from the grave. I forgot his name. Uh, red MD. Yeah, Red MD, right? Yeah. So I was trying to bounce, uh, so I was trying to bounce it back to his stack, but I forgot to side the Draco back out, right? I have Vanity in my hand, so if I manage to do that, I can just win off there. Yeah. But because this thing is bigger than me, I couldn't do the play, so I had to scoop, right? Because I sometimes, like, when you draw him open hand, it's really bad. Yeah. So I side it out, but I think the correct play might be just to keep him in, and if you draw it, you draw it. But if you don't, it's a really good card. Of course. Yeah, so that's one thing I would change. Uh, one triple T, just because you know I didn't know what else to play. It's just a good card to get hand trap, or whatever. That's fair. Yeah, and the um, best hand trap, main burn right there. So it's 40 cards in the main deck. 40 main, yeah. Okay. All right, let's get into what are we going side to? Side deck. Side deck. Oh, one more clear card, just to you want to see her. Of course. This is really good. Yeah. And also, like, I don't want to play too many spell counts because I know people might be an anti spell. So that's why I'm like trying to play around so that. So games two and games three, if you know your opponent's gonna go first, let's say, yeah. would you side out some of your power spells to side in like? Yeah, yeah. so trying out to, for example, against a Labyrinth player, I was trying to play around the anti spell. So I didn't decide in like too much like thrust or any of the stuff. And then just playing like more evenly and more monster stuff. Yep. So I can sort of play around it, but it's too hard because like my min stuff, like prosperity, uh, race planets, yeah, yeah, random user is all spell. So. 
I could try just to minimize the damage I can take okay. if they eradicate right? But yeah, of so, course. Yeah, at least try this. Pank, that's why I play also play one Panker top because you can play around anti spell and you know eradicator all that stuff. It's a good level seven. And it's like big beater as well. Yep. So you have can yeah. So you can just triple him and then summon like Finner or something after. Him. So it's like more pressure on your opponent. And he's just like a free tribute for your vanity or something. That's also true. Just in case. Right? Yep. Okay, the two thrusts. So basically, just like search any of my power spells, prosperity, rather meteor, uh, terraforming, triple T, lightning storm, evenly anything. Basically, just go get it and use it. Yeah, yep. pretty much. So it's like extra copy of whatever card you want. Yep. And uh, uh, two lightning storm because it's at two. Uh, it's at two, and also this I have made some uh, adjustments. So it was at one yesterday. Oh, but because I put the two core core in the main now, and I made more room, I so I have more space in so the side you, deck. So I'm putting storm. one more lightning storm. That makes just sense. In case. And three evenly. Let's try like try to play around anti spell again. Good against all sort of decks, you know. Yeah. And then when you clear their board, you just like you do your cashier play, and then you summon man. You just all of those to that. Okay. Yeah. And the best card in the deck. Of Judgment, course. Yes. You never leave never left my deck. Nah, this, this card, card is, all, is a staple in your Yeah, deck. this card and Dina left left my deck because for a such a long time. Yeah. This this in and this and evenly as well as the best cards. Yeah. Just play this six card, you win most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Judgment is just so good. So my last round against a Dragonlink player. So uh so basically my field was like kinda minish because I don't have the stun yet. I don't have vanity or Dina yet. So I prosperity for six. So I reviewed the, the only thing relevant was a judgment and also a vanity, right? I took the vanity, right? The guy was like, oh, okay. So does that mean like he have another judgment or something? Or he just didn't have like a vanity? He doesn't know, right? So yeah. I'm like, okay, pass to his turn. He's like, okay. Yeah, so I made the, I summoned the vanity on my turn. So he had to play around it, right? So he's like, oh, thank God. And he drew it, right? He's like, uh, whatever happened, happened. He dropped the dark blue on me, right? I'm like, okay. Judgment. Judgment. And then he's like, you had it, I'm like, yeah. And they just offered a handshake. He couldn't, yeah. That's two. You're just, you're just better. You, yeah, exactly. I just had it already. Yeah. So you need to have judgment. Like, it's just like, say no to everything, right? Of course. Yeah, best card in the deck. Just play around Dark Lord and all the in person. And other cards, just summon them in. Okay. Just another card to play around Dark Ruler or in perm in case together where you know you actual stuff, so you have some sort of an answer to that. Yep. And then I flipped against uh, the Monadine player. And then he just auto scooped because yeah, couldn't they can't play around. Yeah, it. I couldn't play around like Finger, Griffin, Unicorn, all this, all the stuff. They summon it, right? So yeah. it's like having Vanity and Dino in like a trap form. Yep. Yeah. I was thinking of playing like Tikaboo, like, but they are thinking there's like too many branded player and also a lot of uh, Vanquish Soul. Now. Vanquish Souls like plays really good into it, so yeah. there's no reason to. They don't care about that. And then I was like, I played actually three branded and Van Vanquish player, so mm -hmm. I made the right call by playing summon it. Yeah. It's like kind of weaker but it hates more decks in general yeah it hates all combo decks it's just only weaker. a lot of the rogue decks too yeah all combo yeah, and yeah. rogue it's just like kind of weak against like kashtira because like they don't care they summon finrar and you know try to keep they can get rid of it and stuff like that and brandon doesn't much as well because they don't care about like they can just make dragoon or something and pass but it hates like most of the other like combo like decks. very combo heavy decks. Yeah. 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 All right, so that's it for the side deck. So what was your extra deck like? Extra deck? It's just a bunch of like prosperity fodders mostly. Okay. Because <laughs> you just went on Dyna. Exactly. You basically. just went on Dyna and Vanities. Yeah, and also like they're like materials for a uh, uh, Rise Heart to attach. Yeah. Basically, for that purpose. So these are the targets for the Rise Heart to attach. And usually the ones I banish for prosperity. prosperity. Yeah, it's like, it's like six cards yep. right there. So just, you know, stand there. So I don't have to think about one banishing, just get rid of this six and then it's good to go. Okay. Like this one's okay. Like it's never came up. It's kind of funny. Sometimes you don't want to make bearing and make this as well, but yep. it never came up. So there's the banish fathers, you know? Yep. So you just pick according to which situation you want to keep. You know, if you want to draw, you take this one. If you want, you know, a protection, pop, or you want to pop. Yeah. yeah. And you put like a bounce and you want to have that like, negation for like skill dream or something. Yeah. You just have all options right there. Yep. Okay, those are the prosperity fathers and uh, one of the rice heart. Just, yeah, sometimes you just like make him, you can't play on the macro. And, just win. and then he's also a protection for Dyna because, like, this and Dyna's full combo. So, whatever they normal summon, you just banish it and attach it. They couldn't attack over Dyna, so they lost the battle phase already. 
and on your turn you just feed more stuff in the grave to do another banish on their turn so they're in the loop so they cannot get out, uh, get out of it right i can't believe arise heart dino yeah that's, that's the combo i've been swimming like games like sometimes just I'm, macro dino yeah i'm like a macro and vanity yeah enough to win the games right Okay, and dark arm. So this card actually matter a lot in one of the labyrinth matchups. I misplayed with this. If uh -huh. I use this correctly, I could have won because I tried to pop the. So Ryan, you had the la la uh, lady and lovely both on the field at the same time. I tried to pop the lady, but he was playing the IKEA version, so he had the stove in his hand. I forgot that. He changed Stovey to set a card from his graveyard. So now it has the protection effect for Lady. So, so you lost so if, the pop essentially. So I lost the pop, right? And then I tried to pop, I don't know why I should have popped the Lovely by that point, but I chose to pop the Trap. And then because of that, he had the two body on board and I couldn't do my vanity play. I had a vanity in my hand, but I missed it. It was yeah. too late, yeah. It was too late right there, right? Because the thing is, even if I go for the Draco vanity play with the protection, you can attack it twice, it will still yeah. die. So I, I was like, I just misplayed it right there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so yeah, this card is really good. Uh, I never played big guys because uh, I already lost like, um, yeah, I never came up. Okay. This is whatever, I'm not like pure cash, so I don't like really know the reason why they play. I just play because I'm level 7. Yeah. I never get to special summon myself that much anyway, so it's whatever. Okay. Oh, this is just, like a spicy thing. Like, so what's, uh, so it's a level 7 one, so you can just make it generically, but no Kashira deck plays it. I only plays it because it has an effect that says, uh, when any player declares an attack, you can detach one XYZ material from this and negate the attack. So you're just protecting Dinah and Vanity. Basically, it's just a, if I break, I don't see like a protector for Dinah. I just summon Finrar, search Rise Heart, special Rise Heart, Rise Heart uh, Banish make level 7, make this, and this will save me for two turns. So and this is just Dinah protection. This is Dinah protection. That's so crazy. Yeah, no, no actual Akash will actually play this, yeah, that's it's fair. just for my build. And Zeus is Zeus, never never made it. Didn't need him, but you know, just have it in there. Uh Shangorla is just like sometimes I go into him uh, because uh, it's risky because you do play into nibs if you go for this play. But you do need this if you wanna have both a rise heart and vanity thing together, right? So so basically the combo is unicorn, finrar, so they make uh, so finrar search rise heart, keep rise heart, and uh, making Shangorla. And a rise heart, a rise heart special itself, and then effect to banish three, and then Shingola trigger. So now I can overlay the. Rise so now heart you can make the a rise heart, and then you can tribute. I tribute the rise heart for vanity. Ah, okay. That's a combo right there. If you don't get naved on this, yeah, that's good. right. But yeah, that's most time. Like I think people side out the nave against me anyways, because because they, they see Dinah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it doesn't matter. Uh, no, one red minute. It's like for burn purposes if it comes up, but it never came up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Baroon. So yeah, Baroon is always good. So sometimes if you know other plays like Finrar or any level seven, they Ash is just like Baroon. Yeah. So you want to just keep that Omni negate there just in case you wanted it. It puts a lot of pressure. So yeah, it's a good card. And oh, actually, like one like game I lost because I couldn't make him. Uh, so was again to the Monadine player. Yeah. So he had his own Baron and a set, set trap card. I had my Finrar on the field and I had Ash in my hand. So I had to choose. Uh, so he used uh, one of the Man DM. I don't know, it was a few spell or something. He used it. I was debating if I should like Ash it or not. Because the thing is, like, if I Ash it, I can stop him right there. Because I don't know how the deck works. So yeah. I don't know if I need to choke him right there. But if I kept Ash, I couldn't make Baron. Because I have the uh, uh, Reef Saw Planet, my Baron is bigger than his Baron. So I couldn't make Baron and then punch over his Baron yeah. and then pop his back roll, right? And then I could go from there. But the thing is, like, he told me that I the Ash was the right call. Because if I didn't Ash, it would have made more combo pieces after that. So yeah, because of that, like, I didn't do the... I, so I Ash him in the, in the tournament. And then after the turn, I special Finner. I tried to use the Finner effect to search. And he had the counter trap that says like if you have synchro monster you can negate anything it's like a judgment for like synchro monster or whatever yeah. and I lost because of that. Oh. So yeah. So Baron does come up, so good card. Did you win that round though? Uh like the match or Yeah, the, the match. No, I lost the round. So you you lost to Manadium and you lost to Labyrinth. Labyrinth, yeah. Those okay. are the only two losses. Two losses, okay. 
and his daughter, the last card. Is, in case you get Baguska, you can just make this. Okay. Yeah, and that's the day. Dang, congratulations, Terry. It's a you. big occasion for you, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I was really yeah. hyped uh, when wow. I heard about it, so I'm proud of you. Uh, you ninth you. place, could have come. You just bubbled out of top eight, man. That's just, so unfortunate. Just bubbled. Yeah, it could have came like yeah, an eight, but it's okay. I had a fun all day. You know, everybody was like happy and they're cheering for me. No, nah, yeah, no. We all we always support. Yeah. So yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Um, yeah. Thank you guys all for watching. These that's the, the guys. MVPs. That, that's the guys. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna cause a vanity feed yeah. and uh, yeah. possibly so, a bio. Yeah, I'm so sad if they're banned. No, they're not gonna get banned. Yeah, please. Chair, please. you're not gonna get these cards banned. Please, Konami, don't don't touch these cards, please. They're balanced. Okay. <laughs> they're right. here. Okay. All right. Thank all right, you. bro. Congratulations again. Thank, thank you all you. for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. With that, Spanko and Chair signing out. Peace.